Obama's a seven? No, no. Hillary Clinton's a seven. But is Obama? No, he's an 11. Is he's Trump, the Trump's Trump. a three? Like, uh, Trump's a four, law and order. Oh, right, because he's never drank alcohol and yes, he's pretty exactly. like straight edge. Exactly. Okay. Law and order. Wait, 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 wait. What's Kobe? Kobe is an 11, just like Michael Jordan. So check this out. Michael Jordan, born 217, 1963, adds up to 29. 2 and 9 is 11. Look, he's getting mind fucked. Say uh, that they, again? They, what? <laughs> Michael Jordan, born 217, 1963, 217, 1963, adds up to 29, 2 and 9 is 11. Mentored Kobe Bryant, born 823, 1978, 823, 1978, adds up to 38, 3, 8, 11. He mentored Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, born 223, 1992, adds up to 29, 2 and 9 is 11. So there you have the 11 to 11 to 11. How about them apples? I always see it, Kyrie it, flexing the 11. If that's my flat earth shoes. brother, Kyrie. But hold on. It's way creepier if you guys are here with me. <laughs> and it's way creepier if you're here and you grab his phone and see the billionaires who contact you. We can't talk so, about that. Yeah, I know. I know. Not, did on, I man. name drop? No, you can't do that, man. We don't want to do that, man. Now I'm a snitch. I didn't even name drop. All right, Nick, who's the fed, man? Uh, you, know, like, you know Napoleon actually went to Egypt and uh, took a cannon to the pyramids really? and the what, Sphinx? What do, you, what do you think he was trying what to a, stop? What a pit, man. He said, fuck this shit. I don't care how long it's been up. I'm taking a cannon to it. So everyone in history is going to know that mm -hmm. I'm the person who did that. And by the way, Napoleon is one of the biggest fucking alpha males in history. Even though his fucking bitch was cheating on him, he's still one of the biggest alpha males in history. When he came back from prison which they basically seclusion. They had an army there to meet him. He had an army at his back. Instead of fighting, he went up to his opposing troops, threw down his sword and said, if any of you want to kill your emperor, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. They all laid down their arms and fucking flooded to his side. But one of the most heroic things in history, and I just felt like putting that out there. I love Napoleon, so this is great, right? I think Napoleon is right below Julius Caesar, but the man himself is Augustus Caesar. Augustus Caesar took Rome when it was crumbling. It was like pretty much at the end where America's kind of laying right now. And uh, mm -hmm. he basically went in there, got rid of the corrupt Senate, made sure he was a dictator, but he was the only benevolent dictator in world history. And what I mean by that is he actually did things that were good for the population. He started making morality laws. If you cheated on your wife or your husband, you might get flagged. You might get stoned. He was the only, uh, he was the best world leader in history. You know what else he did? He basically passed laws that uh, people couldn't kill their slaves. Mm -hmm. uh, back then, people were owners and they thought they could do with their slaves what they want. Augustus Caesar was one of the first ones who said, you know what? They are slaves, but you can't actually kill them. So if you guys want to go down throughout history, Augustus Caesar was basically the first real revolutionary who basically said human beings cannot be killed. Who's the best president of all time? JFK. I knew you'd say JFK.